Greetings again and welcome, inquirers, friends, and brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I want to speak about the, the bishops uh, from Originally, the bishop sat in the altar, in the synthronon, the thrones together with all his presbyters around him, symbolic of the unity and the collegiality that the bishop represents. He brings his presbyters together. He is the symbol of the unity. He is the one that brings the faithful together as the arch shepherd, as the pastor of the flocks of Christ entrusted to his care. And therefore, he is to represent Christ. He's the type of Christ. He's the image of Christ. He represents the great high priest. So oftentimes you'll see on the bishop's throne an icon of Jesus Christ wearing the many crosses on his vestments. When you see the many crosses on the vestments, that usually means that that is a bishop. In this case, he's the bishop of bishops, the great high archpriest. Also, you'll see on his shoulders, as you see of icons of bishop saints, a white wool cloth over him. That means that he's the good shepherd that goes after the lost and stray sheep and brings them back on his shoulders to the fold of Christ. That is what the bishop is to do, to be the good shepherd. Also, you'll see on the image of Christ, the big crown. He is the king of kings, the emperor of emperors, no one greater than him. The bishop is to conform to this image, to be the good shepherd, to be the chief liturgist, the great high priest, but also what was Christ's second biggest ministry besides his healing ministry. It was teaching. He was the teacher, the good teacher, the great teacher. And so the bishop's role is also not just to be the pastor, not just to be the healer through the sacraments, not just to be the symbol of unity, but also he's to be the teacher. And that is why the bishops in the Orthodox Church are ordained in the altar on both knees, for their ministry is full, and they can also consecrate, but also the gospels are put over their heads when the Holy Spirit is invoked by three other bishops to ordain him a bishop. Why three other bishops? Because of community. We can do nothing on our own. We have to be together as a community. Not one person can do it on his own. That's why you have the three bishops. A reminder of unity and diversity and of community. And so with the gospels over his heads, it's a reminder to the bishop that he is to be the teacher to be in the image of Jesus Christ. Now you see the bishop's throne outside of the altar. That happened later because now the bishop was moved out here after the emperor was dethroned. And so the bishop came out here and sat here to lead the people as their ethnarch, to lead the people to Christ and to be visible. And so therefore nowadays in the Greek Orthodox churches, we have the bishop's throne outside of the altar where the emperor used to be but the image of Christ as the true King of Kings is there, not a worldly emperor, not a human being, but God, the true God. And the bishop sits in the throne out here now as the leader of the people to lead them to Christ. In some churches, we still have the synthenon with the bishop's throne in it and the altar behind the altar table. And that is the traditional and early church way. We have much tradition continuity. There's no separation, there are distinctions. And as you know, history is not a point in time, but rather a continuum. And we live our history, we remember our history, we venerate our history, and we are inspired by it to live a saintly life in this world so that we can go forward looking to the future, a future assured by the resurrection of Christ, a future of eternal salvation with Christ and all his saints. Megali, Monty.